In this channel, we decode the latest breakthrough in AI and technology. Now, AI has come a long way from understanding images to creating them. The technology has often relied on separate systems for these tasks. But what if one model could seamlessly do both? Enter the Genus series. Specifically in this video, we are going to look at Genus Pro. Now, developed by the researchers at DeepSeek AI. Yeah the same AI company from China that is blowing out the NVIDIA stock by as much as 18% yesterday given the news of the release of DeepSeek R1 and the surprise of its capabilities in beating the closed source models from OpenAI, Google Gemini and other sort of models. But I think uh, it's not the reason for the crash in Nvidia stock. In fact, it's just an opportunity to buy this stock now. As a matter of fact, it has risen by about 6% today. So let's come back to the topic. Now this model Genus Pro is a next generation multimodel model that redefines how AI understands and generates content. Genus Pro is built on the predecessor Genus to take multimodal understanding and text to image generation to the next level. Now they have released everything under the MIT license. It's open source, it's fully available, the papers, the demos and the usage. You can check out everything for the Genus series. Now this is quite a revolution. If you look at the research paper, we can see that it's Genus Pro unifying multimodal understanding and generation with data and model scaling. It has given three different things. So first is an optimized strategy. Then we have expanded data, training data and scaling to larger model size. We can see the performance of Genus Pro. Now we have two versions, 1 billion and the 7 billion version. And you can see that compared to the previous models of Genus here, we can see that it's quite good and especially the 7 billion performs better than all these other models that you see here which includes lava v 1.5 phi 1.5 lava v 1.57 billion as well now on the right hand side you can see two benchmarks are compared so first is gen evel and then we have the dpg bench so we can see that for sdxl for stable diffusion version 1.5 for pixart alpha then for DAL E3, SD3 medium, EMU3 gen, we can see the capability of the text to image generation. For Genus, the previous Genus, you can see that there is not much comparable when compared to these models. But this new version of Genus Pro 7 billion, it outperforms everyone else here. So it's 80% in the Gen Eval benchmark and DPG in the other benchmark. You can see the performance of the image generation compared to Genus. So we had this as the output of Genus, which was brought to you uh, in the month of November 24, I think. And Genus Pro 7 billion, you can see quite an improvement in performance. Now, after the revolution of DeepSeek R1, could this be the new revolution? Let us check and see what the users has to say. And I will come back with another video. But looking at from the bird's eye perspective it seems that it was able to very coherently follow the instruction here a steaming cup of coffee on a wooden table it's pretty good we have janus pro here a glass of red wine on a reflective surface uh, i in fact like this as well now we have minimalistic photo of an orange tangerine okay then we have clear image of a blackboard with a clean dark surface with the word hello written on it then we have a close up shot of a vibrant sunflower and that is pretty great now these are the architecture configuration of janus pro we have the vocabulary size of 100k embedding size of 2048 uh, for the 1 billion and 4096 for the 7 billion and then we have these hyperparameters so an example of the performance here and you can see that these are different models the image related models and there are different benchmarks and you can see that Genus Pro 7 billion beats almost every of these benchmarks for these different models. Here are some examples of image description so you can see they describe the scene in detail. It's able to look into the image and see that it's tall rugged rock, white foam and a dynamic sense of movement, coastline is sandy, overcast 
and a stunning coastal landscape that's pretty good and next is can you introduce the background story of this cake we have tom and jerry here so the cake is themed around the classic cartoon character tom and jerry now what's written on the large blackboard the large blackboard has the following text serving soup since 2012 now text to image generation these are different examples i really like them a lot now at this point of time you can go ahead and check out the model uh, we can go and run it here so we have hugging face spaces here so for example code convert this uh, image to latex code and you can see that it's able to convert this also this is text to image generation the futuristic visuals of ai and generation models in action and you can see this outputs so this is genus pro this is deep seek ai's genus pro go ahead and try it out and please comment in the comment section what you think about this model could this match with deep seek r1 i mean the way deep seek r1 is able to bring this news in the mouth of the president of the us as well and the general public are so much attracted to deep seek r1 could this model genus pro be attractive as well let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i will see you next time